your eyes You believe that lie That you need to hide your face You afraid to step outside So you lock your door But don't you steal that thing Don't go in and dig your shadows Believe you don't have arrows Cause once you see it all You'll never, never be the same You'll see the lightning striking But I love to keep on shining Welcome to the 2019 It Starts With Us Awards. My name is Bahar Adavudi, and I'm honored to be your student host tonight. First of all, let's give another round of applause to the Murphy High School Four Arts Club. I'd also like to introduce you to another group of musicians that will be sharing their talents with us tonight, the Blunt High School Jazz Band. They will be playing for us throughout the evening. Band members, would you please stand so that everyone could see your smiling faces behind the curtain? Thank you, Blunt Jazz Band, for joining us tonight. Once again, my name is Bahar Adavudi, and I'm a, currently a senior at Murphy High School. I am in the International Baccalaureate program as well as the Early College program at Murphy. In addition to being the president of Ivy Council, I am also a member of the National Honor Society and the Student Government Association. I have enjoyed building my service hours by volunteering at Mobile Infirmary Hospital over the summers and developing a passion for the medical field through first-hand experience. Next year, I plan to attend the University of Alabama at Birmingham to major in biomedical engineering with a minor in French. I hope to further my education by going to medical school in the future. I would personally like to thank all the teachers and the Mobile County Public School System for preparing me for a bright future. As we say in Mobile County, it starts with us. Tonight, we will take the opportunity to honor students, teachers, and community partners who exemplify that theme. You are going to see some incredible people on this stage tonight. In fact, let's start with a very special recognition. Did you know that we have Alabama's top middle school principal here in Mobile County? I would like to invite Andrea Dennis of Scarborough Middle School to the stage for our first recognition of the evening. Mm -hmm. 
Ms. Dennis, who is in her third year as Scarborough's principal, was surprised by state and local officials and her faculty in January with the news that she has been named the Middle School Principal of the Year by the Alabama Association of Secondary School Principals. Under her leadership, Scarborough was one of five Mobile County Public Schools to improve two letter grades on this year's state report cards, pulling its score up from a F to a C. She credits her staff and students for setting high expectations and goals and says they will continue working to improve even more. Let's give a round of applause for Alabama's Middle School Principal of the Year, Andrea Dennis of Scarborough Middle. Besides receiving statewide and national recognition, our schools are making their marks in math, science, reading, career and technical education, the performing arts, and more. That would not be possible without the leadership of Superintendent Cressel Threadgill and the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners. Can Mr. Threadgill and the member of the school board please stand so we can show our appreciation? We also have many principals here representing Mobile County's 88 schools. Can you please stand so we can thank you for your work? If you are a teacher or a school system employee, please stand so we can cheer you on as well. And now, everyone give yourself a round of applause because you would not have been invited here tonight if you were not doing something great for Mobile County Public Schools. Thank you for all that you do in our schools. And thank you for being here tonight to celebrate some of the many achievements of the Mobile County Public Schools. It truly starts with all of us. And now, I'd like to introduce to you our first presenter, you may have seen Devin Walsh anchoring News 5's 9 a.m., noon, and 5 o'clock news. Devin has been voted Alabama's best news anchor by the Associated Press and Anchor of the Year by the Alabama Broadcasters Association. A native of Mobile, she and her husband love raising their children on the Gulf Coast. Please help me welcome onto the stage WKRG's Devin Walsh. Hello everyone, I am so happy to be with you tonight. I have emceed this event before and I always leave so uplifted. This is, you're going to love tonight if you have not been to this award ceremony before. I love being a part of an event where we are celebrating the success of all the students and teachers and community partners here within the Mobile County Public School System. I can tell you all the great work happening in your schools. I am privileged at WKRG to put together a segment called What's Working? And basically, I can do whatever I want. I just go into schools and look at positive programs, people, teachers, administrators, and I've had to do a chance to do that a lot this year. And there are so many great things happening in Mobile County Public Schools. By the way, I have been known to get story ideas from some of the programs and students that you are going to hear about tonight. And if you ever have any story ideas, there's my shameless plug. Shoot me an email. I would love to hear about what's happening in your school. It's time now to get started. Our first award winner of the night is a perfect example of what it means to be dedicated. Without a reliable car, he rode his bicycle halfway across town from his home in Midtown to his job at Collier Elementary in West Mobile, where he works as a custodian. For a year he did this, never missing work regardless of the weather. And when his bike was stolen, he got up at 4 a.m. and he walked halfway across town to get to work. The only way the administration knew that he was walking to school is that a parent happened to see him. So the community came through and actually purchased a car for him to drive to work. 
but his dedication remains. That's dedication. So the winner of our Dedication Starts With Us Award is Mr. Terrace McQueen. I don't see Mr. McQueen with us, but we wanted him to come up and say a few words. You know what? He's probably still working. That's how dedicated he is, making sure everything is ready for tomorrow morning. But we are very proud of him, and we appreciate all of his dedication. Oh, wait, here he is. Come on up here. Don't be shy. <laughs> Tap it for me. First of all, a little bit nervous. But, uh, I'd like to say thank y'all for this award. It means a lot to me. It shows that people have really been watching me, and that's a good feeling to me. And I hope to continue doing this for many more years to come. Thank y'all. Mobile County Public Schools is proud to recognize several students tonight for exhibiting the spirit of the It Starts With Us slogan awards. These students excel academically, they are leaders at their schools, and they give back to their communities. Now this is unbelievable. 75 students who were nominated by their schools were named finalists for this year and only four of them were chosen as countywide winners, and we will meet them tonight. Our first, It Starts With Me honoree, has struggled with speech all of her life, but has overcome these difficulties to become a leader at her school, including creating a project to help infants with neonatal abstinence syndrome. So let's learn more about Hayden Wiggins of J.E. Turner Elementary School. I first met Hayden. She was one of the first students that came up and greeted me, welcomed me to Turner this year, gave me a hug, and I immediately saw the kindness in her heart every single morning. Well, when Hayden was, you know, our Red Ribbon winner, um, I asked her, I said, well, who do you want to help? Do you want to help, you know, babies? you want to help kids? you want to help grown-ups? Who do you? And she said, well, how do you, how would you help babies? I said, let's look it up. So we looked it up and we found out like every 25 minutes there's a baby born with NAS, the neonatal abstinence syndrome. Well, I love little kids and I hate to see people that have been hurt and I just want to make a difference. I said, let's call USA, you know, women's and children. Let's see what if, if we can do that, you know, what we can do to help them because we had no idea. And she said the muslin swaddle blankets. So we try to think of a way that we could you know, without just asking people to bring the blankets in. So we thought about a baby quilt, and then Hayden kind of, we brainstormed, and she thought, well, let's make one on the wall. Well, I thought our project, the whole idea was wonderful to begin with, but I think just kids learning in elementary school to give back is very, very important. But her project had a special twist to it because she, um, she also used it to make something that was a tragedy that happened to one of our teachers. She did that within her, one of her teacher's grandson's memory, and I think that made the project especially special to all of us, and it had a true meaning. I think it meant something to all of our kids here. We had an awesome reason to honor my baby, who won't be here with us long. But the children who gave, they, they just knew it was for, for babies. So that was a, it was a very touching, very, um, it was a blessing and she was just so sweet. I just thought that that was a wonderful project to kind of support not only 
our fellow teacher, but also the babies who suffer from being born addicted to drugs, and I thought that that was a phenomenal project. I raised $2,000 off of it, and that's from, not only from the school, but from Facebook and around the country. We were overwhelmed. We were overwhelmed at the people that reached out to us that wanted to come directly to the school just to give Hayden a hug or to tell us how much they thought the project was worthy and how much it helped them and it touched their hearts. So the project grew much bigger than we ever expected to. I think it surprised all of us in a good way. She really had a passion for this. She's had so many people and I think that that shows a lot to Hayden's character, the fact that that many people wanted to support her um, because when they saw that it was Hayden that was doing it, a lot of people automatically jumped on board. The big smiles on the nurses' face, faces, made, it made my day, and not only the, it made my day, it made a difference for those babies' lives. And I have no doubt that she'll continue to do great things because you, you can see what, what comes out of Hayden's mouth is what is in her heart. And she has a great heart and she wants to do great things. And anyone with that much passion will do great things. You can be young and as old as you want to to help. And like I said, you don't have to be the prettiest, smartest, or the best speaker. Um, and I want to make a difference in people's lives too. I want to be the person that inspires other people to make a big difference. And Hayden, why don't we just have you say a few words about receiving this award tonight? Thank you, Mobile County Public Schools, for naming me as a winner of the Starts With Me Award. Without the support of my family, friends, community, in local businesses, my Red Ribbon project wouldn't have been such a huge success. I have learned through this project that kindness is contagious. Thank you all again for this award. All right, congratulations. And we will have to post your video online because I definitely want to hear all about her wonderful program. Well, as I mentioned, this actual award ceremony is broadcasting online because the Mobile County Public School System actually has its own TV channel. It is available on Comcast, Mediacom, AT&T, UVerse, MCPSSWire.com, as well as through Roku boxes. And as I mentioned, we're broadcasting this live right now. It is also on Facebook Live, so if you have a, a family member or a friend who could not be here tonight, tell them to go to the Mobile County Public School System's Facebook page, and this is broadcasting live so they can watch you receive your award. And because we're on live television, that means we have to take a couple of commercial breaks, of course. So we will be doing that throughout the program. Very short breaks, and let's sneak in a short one right now, and we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> MCPSS It Starts With Us Awards will continue in a moment. When it comes to getting your child through school, at times it can be overwhelming. What school to choose, what classes to take, how to apply for college. To help answer these questions and more, we would like to invite you to join us on Parent Connect as we take an in-depth look at some of the issues and concerns you may have about your child's education. So get connected with Parent Connect weekly right here on the MCPSS TV network.
I'm Ashley Rich, Mobile County District Attorney. The failure to obey school bus safety laws will cost you. It can cost you up to a $3,000 fine and the loss of your driving privileges. But more than that, it can cost the life of a child. That's why the Mobile County Public School System is urging you to stop and obey all bus traffic laws. Hi, I'm Pat Mitchell, Director of Transportation for the Mobile County Public School System. We're asking you to obey all bus safety laws. It could save a life. Remember, stop ahead when you see red. Our future depends on it. It's a fact. Bullying happens. Bullying can lead to serious physical and emotional pain. But there are some things you can do to prevent or stop it. Stand up for the person who's being bullied. Let the bully know that it's not cool to pick on others. Take action by reporting the bully to a teacher or principal. In the end, when you help someone who's being bullied, you are also helping yourself. Hello, my name is Abby Dinkins. My children go to ER Dixon Elementary School. The education that uh, my kids are getting, um, they are, it's, it's tremendous. There's one time that I thought about homeschooling my kids because I wasn't sure, you know, we're new here. And when I enroll my children at the public school and I'm just blown away because the teachers are nice, the, the curriculum itself is different. I believe in Mobile County Public School education um, for preparing my children for life. Get it. 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 Is she gonna get it, Daddy? She'll get it. Get it. Get it. When you bring home a Goodwill find, you give your whole town a reason to celebrate because you're also funding local job training and placement programs in tech, healthcare, and more. Goodwill. Bring good home. This is the real thing, everybody. Welcome back to the Mobile County Public School Systems. It starts with us awards. We are going to be honoring our first group of elementary school teachers of the year. These are educators who were nominated by their school for their outstanding dedication to their students. And we ask that you please hold your applause until all of them have been announced. And teachers, when I call your name, if you'll please make yourself known, just wave, step out a little bit so that everyone can see who you are. And again, if you'll hold your applause until the end. Nicole Cummings from Castellan Elementary. Congratulations, Nicole. Brandy Singletary from Allentown Elementary. Inez Tucker from Grant Elementary. Cindy Peck from Dodge Elementary. Susan Fern from Collier Elementary. Lillian Arrington from Burroughs Elementary School. Laura Sargent from Griggs Elementary. Stephanie Pettis from Hutchins Elementary. Allison Stacy from ER Dixon Elementary. Patrice Bragg from George Hall Elementary. Jennifer Hall from Brightling. Shamika Florence from Craighead Elementary. Shannon Tillman from Eichold Mertz Magnet School. Daphne Dudley from Collins Rhodes Elementary. Santeria Howes from Calcedever Elementary. Stacy Claiborne from Council Traditional. Shannon Otto from Booth Elementary. Veronique Marks from Chastain Fournier K through eight. And last but not least, Alfreda Davis from Holloway Elementary. Please give all of our Teachers of the Year a round of applause. Congratulations. 
quite an honor to be selected as Teacher of the Year. Wonderful. Well, our next honoree has been a longtime partner of the Mobile County Public School System, working together to operate a school within its walls to serve children who are hospitalized there. It's been in operation for 18 years, since 1990, but it offers instruction to more than 1,200 students annually in the classroom or at the bedside with teachers working with parents, physicians, and the students' home schools to help them stay current in their studies. An interactive robot now makes it possible for some students to take part virtually in classes and activities in their home schools and even take part in their graduation ceremonies. The winner of the Academic Success Starts With Us Award is the University of South Alabama's Children's and Women's Hospital. ahead. We'd love to hear what you would like to say. We just wanted to say thank you. It's an honor and it's a privilege um, to be a part of this incredible program and this incredible team who've worked for 29 years to make children who are in the hospital and who are sick stay engaged with their schools and keep going and keep learning. And we appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. No doubt it's hard to step in in the middle of someone's academic year and help these students and what a dedicated staff they are. 29 years uh, there at USA Children's and Women's Hospital. Our next It Starts With Us honoree is very active in her school, serving as a member of the Student Council, the National Elementary Honor Society, and Golden Leprechaun News Team. I like that one, That's, that sounds good. Golden Leprechaun News Team, along with other organizations. She also has organized some creative events to benefit her school and community, which we will learn about right now. Let's meet our second elementary school It Starts With Us Award winner, Allison Brown of Leinkoff Elementary. She's the person who's genuine, she believes in her dreams, she's confident in communicating any goal or idea that she has, as well as she's a dreamer and she never stops dreaming. She wants to learn more, she wants to do more, and she's a student who's done a lot and she has a lot ahead for her. She is equipped for greatness. As a fifth grader, she brings um, a maturity that, that rubs off on the other students. I've known her for three years, but the three years that I've known her that she has been progressing towards this goal and I don't think she's going to stop. I think in middle school she's going to be a leader there as well. Allison wanted to implement a program that would give back to the homeless and she went to our school counselor to ask what programs are out there that we can contribute as students to support um, our community members who are homeless. So our counselor and Allison researched the Many More Miles program. And they came up with the idea together to have students donate gently used shoes. Well, for the Many More Miles program, um, me and one of my friends met with Dr. Pruitt because we wanted to do something for our community. Because, like, if you put yourself in their shoes, how would you feel if people saw you with rags, dirt on you, and, like, you would want somebody to do something for you, but, like, if you're in a good position where you have a car, you have clothes on your back, you don't really think about the people who don't have all the stuff that you have. Sometimes you gotta take time out of your day to do something for somebody else. Allison, she's very passionate. She's a very passionate person, and she loves to help others. Loves to help others. It is impressive, and that's what we desire as educators. All of the hard work that we put in to instill these character eds amongst our students for children to come forth and say, I want to give back to um, our community is our dream. You walk around, drive your car every day, and you see people who don't have a home. They're just out on the streets. They have no food, no good clothes. So the least you can do is at least donate them a good pair of shoes. Allison's a go-getter. 
She came to me regarding wanting to start a secret Santa shop, doing something for the community as well as for the students. And but her original idea was wanting to raise money for the teachers. I was like, wow. I mean, the things that they did, how they planned it out. And it wasn't um, Dr. Poole and it was the kids, the girls. They did it together. If you just sit and listen to them talk, they sound like grown-ups. Well, how, how would this help? Well, what can we do? Well, what type of things do we need to get? What, what would the kids want? I mean, it's, this is really awesome to see, you know, the two girls talk about what they wanted. For Allison and her future, I see a lot. I see a young lady who's going to be an entrepreneur. I see someone who's going to make change in the world, who's going to help anybody and everybody, regardless of what the situation is. I see a young lady who is just going to reach any goal that she has set for her, no matter how hard or how difficult the task is. She's going to refocus, she's going to regroup, and she's going to make her way through it. Allison actually told us what her um, future will look like. She wants to attend the University of South Alabama, um, go to school there, um, live in Florida, um, buy a big mansion, and work as a doctor. Um, she has her future already mapped out, and I have no doubt that Allison will succeed. And there she is. <laughs> The future is definitely looking bright for Allison Brown of Leinkoff Elementary. Congratulations. Hello, I am Allison Brown and I wanted to, it starts with me winners. I am so honored to take this position today with you all. And some people may be wondering, well, why does it start with me? And my answer to that is, it doesn't just start with me, it starts with everybody. And I would like to, um, I would like for you to recognize the people who helped me get through this and to this position. My mother, Miss Elisa, my father, Mr. Willie, my stepfather, Mr. Corey, my teacher, Mrs. Bowler, my principal, Dr. Pruitt, and the rest of my line call family, including all my best friends. And back to the question, it starts with me. Um, well, I like to help my community because it's sometimes, like, some people, they need help in life because they don't have a lot of stuff that you have. So sometimes it's nice to fill somebody else's shoes and give them what they need. It makes you feel very good inside. Great job, Allison. We're proud of you. Very, very good. Well, once again, we're going to take a short commercial break. We have a lot more to celebrate when we come back, so stay tuned. The Mobile County Public Schools Signature Academies program offers a variety of specialized curriculum for highly interested and motivated students. These academies provide students with choices ranging from aviation to healthcare, advanced information technology to international studies, from engineering to coastal studies. These high quality hands-on programs prepare students for careers readily available in Mobile County. Signature Academies program, it starts with us. At any given time, trauma can happen. And how we deal with it. And how we make peace with it. Starts with me. With Project Thrive, I'm taking the pledge. I pledge to believe and support others experiencing trauma. Will you join Project Thrive and its team of partners who are working together to address issues of trauma? Take the pledge, take a stand, and let's make Mobile a trauma-informed community. Do you have what it takes to be an Envision graduate? We are pioneering students to be all they can be, from sixth grade all the way to 12th grade. I definitely would recommend Envision to other students who feel the way I feel. They really work with you and they've gotten tutors and you have online teachers to talk to. It starts right here. 
It starts right now. Envision Virtual Academy. Enroll today. Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm Terry, and we'd like to invite you to join us as we take a look at nature in ways that you've never seen before. Come travel with us as we go coast to coast to uncover some of the most interesting animals. And some of the most beautiful scenery that's offered outdoors. You can join us on our nature adventures right here on the MCPSS TV network. Mobile County Public Schools, we are redefining ready. We are graduating college ready, career ready, and life ready. We are more than just a test score. We are earning college credit while in high school. We are working internships to get real world experience. We are welders. We are certified nursing assistants. We are redefining ready. As Alabama's first and largest school system, Mobile County Public Schools prides itself on the high quality of education we provide our students. We have been successful over the years in raising our graduation rates. And have been recognized nationally for closing achievement gaps. We believe that our primary focus is to educate all students to become productive citizens. This is our commitment to them and to you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying your evening so far and learning about some of the many people who make Mobile County Public Schools such a great place to learn and grow. Before I introduce our next presenter, let's give a big round of applause for Ms. Devin Walsh for, for, from WKRG. Thank you so much for being a part of our celebration tonight. Fox 10's Chief Meteorologist, Jason Smith, has provided weathercasts on WALA for more than 18 years. He is also the host of Fox 10 Outdoors, which features fishing, hunting, and related activities. He is the proud father of five young children, three of which are Mobile County Public School students. Let's give a warm welcome to Jason Smith of Fox 10. great to be here tonight, um, be a part of this event, and I'm honored to be part of this event again this year, and um, I'm excited to celebrate Mobile County and its public schools. I have three kids in school, in the public school system at Mary B. Austin. I have three kids adding a fourth next year, so uh, just really appreciate all the work that everyone does that's a part of the school system. My first honor of the evening is to introduce to you our second group of elementary school teachers of the year who were nominated by their schools. Please hold your applause until all the honorees have been announced. And they are. From Tanner Williams Elementary, we have Leanne Meninet. Okay. I totally messed that one up, but I was close. All right, Haley McKinnis from Wilmer Elementary. Laureen Hollister from Leinkoff. Rosemary Peterson from John Will. Andrea Robinson from Robbins Elementary. All right. Tiffany Fox from St. Elmo Elementary. 
Elena da uh, Daly from Whitley Elementary. Hilary Leash, just four. Lindsey Gross from Taylor White. Christy Walter from Old Shell Road Magnet. Dawn Walker from Sims Elementary. April Hayes from O'Rourke Elementary. Angelia Gafford from Maryvale. Deborah Powell from Meadow Lake Elementary. Angelica Scott from Kate Shepherd Elementary. Amanda Odom from J.E. Turner. And Alicia Robertson from Morningside Elementary. All right, our next award winner fills a unique role for the Mobile County Public Schools, working with students and parents who are new to the country, many who do not speak English. As a parent program manager for the system's English as a Second Language Department, she teaches these parents how to take an active role in their children's education and coordinates a team of interpreters that keeps them informed. She and her husband have also formed a nonprofit called Belong that provides after school tutoring for these students and ESL classes for their parents. The winner of the Community Engagement Starts With Us Award is Johanna Carrillo. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God for giving me the, uh, the passion and purpose in life. Also, I would like to thank uh, Mobile County Public School System for allowing us to welcome all the international community to our uh, Mobile County Public Schools. Uh, it is an honor for me as an immigrant woman to be able to represent this evening my community. Uh, I want to thank my husband, my children, and uh, my students, and also the parents that we serve for allowing me every day to be able to go, not just to work, but to provide service to my community. It is an honor for me to be here tonight, and thank you so much for welcoming in every school, elementary, middle, and high school, our children who most of the time are coming from different backgrounds, and their, their transition is really hard. And it takes the whole community to make an effort to allow these children to, to feel that they deserve to belong in our school system. Thank you so much, and have a good evening. Our next award winner fills an often underappreciated role in our schools, that of a substitute teacher. It's a tough job, and in filling this role, she not only ensures the instruction that continues when a teacher is pulled away from the classroom, but that this substitute also infuses her students with their positive outlook on life, encouraging them to stay focused on improving themselves and completing the task at hand preparing for graduation. The Classroom Commitment Starts With Us Award goes to Charmaine Daniels.
Praise God. I want to get a, give an honor to God, our Lord and Savior, the head of my life. And I appreciate Mobile County. I appreciate, I like what I do. I, I, I'm kind of nervous. I love the kids. And you're right, it started with us. But first, it started at home with discipline. You know, we got to start at home with discipline. Yeah, I'm a sub of nine years, and like I said, I like what I do, and I hope I continue to do what I do. But like I say, God got to be first in everything. Thank you. Entertainment for this evening is being provided by band, music, and dance students from the Mobile County Public Schools. We've already seen and heard the talents of the Murphy High School Four Arts Club and Blunt High School's Jazz Band. And now we're fortunate to have another group of young students per to perform for us. Please welcome to the stage Old Shell Road School of Performing Arts. Cause up your sleeve, you got a friend of mine who never fails. You got some power in 
I want smart board, that's wrong. Hello, my name is Theresa Montgomery, and I'm here to give you a few facts about food allergies. Research says that 15 million Americans have food allergies. Did you know that roughly 30,000 Americans go to the emergency room each year due to food allergies? Food allergies affects one in every 13 children in the United States. The economic cost of children's food allergies is roughly $25 billion per year. If you want to know more facts about food allergies, you can visit www.foodallergies.org. Each month, more than 90 guns are reported stolen from unlocked vehicles, creating the potential of serious injury or death. Lock it up. Many violent acts and crimes are committed with stolen guns. Lock it up. According to ATF, stolen guns pose a substantial threat to public safety. Lock it up. Be responsible. Take time to record your handgun serial number and secure it from thieves. Lock it up. Lock it up. As a student in the Mobile County Public Schools, there are a few things I've come to expect. One is a quality education, and the other is a quality lunch. Not only are our school meals well balanced, meeting all federal nutritional standards, but they also have less fat, fewer calories, and they taste really good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, our school lunches contain whole wheat, grains, fruits, and vegetables to give me the energy and brain power to get me through the day. School of Performing Arts. What a spectacular performance and another fine example of the variety of talents of the Mobile County Public Schools. Our final group of teachers of the year are from area middle and high schools. Please hold your applause until all the honorees have been announced. From Theodore High, Sabrina McNally. From Almer, Almer Bryant High, George Kenneth Crenshaw. David Civitelli from Causey Middle. Roderick Fry from B.C. Rain High School. Frank Harris from Grand Bay Middle. Nina Stell from, De from Denton Magnet. Amber Bowles from Scarborough Model Middle. Diana McNaughton from Murphy High. Rhonda Hardy from Burns Middle. Herman Finkley from Citronelle High. Robert Presley from Booker T. Washington Middle. Pamela Odom from Pathway. Kiara Chambers from Mobile County Training. Pamela Haynes from Pillins Middle. Angela Rocker from Clark Shaw Magnet. <laughs> Daniel Moser from Hankins Middle. Lucy Spillers from Lott Middle School. Ellen Thompson from Augusta Evans. Clarencia Bonner from Callaway Smith Middle. Sandra Hardegree from Mary G. Montgomery. Casey Bishop from Viger High, and Tamika Lang from Williamson. Let's thank all these dedicated men and women for their dedications to our students. Okay, our middle school, It Starts With Me winner, has a passion for, hel for helping special needs students. From volunteering as a tutor to serving as a special helper for a classmate, 
to serving as a runner at this year's Special Olympics. He's also involved in a long list of other charitable and school-related activities. Let's meet Samuel Gaston of Causey Middle School. If I had to describe him with one word, it would be conscientious. And what I mean is he's always going to get his work done. He's always going to give it his best. But everything he does comes from a, a deep sense of conscience, a sense of ethics that he has that drives him. And to me, that's one of the things that sets him apart from a lot of students. I have known Samuel since he was a baby, and he has always been a leader. Um, Samuel, for whatever reason, has always decided that he was going to make a difference. Even as young as three years old, he was... Um, looking out for his classmates and a role model to them. He just leads by example. He affects so many of our students in a positive way. So, and also the way he cares about students. It's not just the things that he's done here, but it's about uh, his attitude and the way he affects so many people around him every day. Samuel has a big heart. He just wants to help students, all students, you know. Um, he does have a a particular interest for special needs students. One of the things he started doing this year was he started helping a student, uh, a special needs student. But that's what he does. He looks for ways to help other people. He looks for ways to not only own his own situation, but help other people own their situation in a way where they can be successful. I help out because I've seen these kids get put aside. I've seen them not be included in things just because they they have special needs. And I just want to show everyone that they're just like everyone else. Lots of students look up to him, so he models for them the way to treat other students. He's very inclusive for all kids. He wants to make sure that all kids fit in, and so, you know, that's important. That makes those students who do have special needs feel special in their own right. I think that's important because even now, back then, uh, everyone's been discriminated against whether it's different races, different uh, needs that people have. And we're all the same. We're all the same, we're all human beings, so we should all be treated fairly. Well, for Sam, I think the, the sky's the limit. Uh, obviously, he's the total package. He's academically uh, intelligent. Uh, he has the social skills needed to be successful. Uh, he's athletic, he's just so well-rounded. So uh, I really feel like anything Samuel wants to do and puts his mind to, he will be able to accomplish that. He's one of those kinds of kids who's going to take the initiative to make a difference. Um, he wants to help other students, even students who are unlike him. I think from what I've seen in him in his studies, he could do anything he wants to do. The only thing that will limit Sam will be Sam. Please give a round of applause to the middle school It Starts With Me award winner, Causey Middle School, Samuel Gaston. Wow. Uh, when I first got this award, I didn't see it as the biggest thing. But now that I'm here and I've seen all these other fantastic students and what they've been doing, it's, it's, it's really insane. Um, Causey Middle School gives me so many, so many opportunities just to be myself, help with whatever I want. And every student gets that, no matter if they're special needs, um, what, le what level they're at, AP, regular, they get those opportunities. And I just want to thank Causey Middle School for giving me so many opportunities. And I was lucky enough to be born in a, a household that supported me whatever I did. And the reason that I help these special needs students is because they don't get those same privileges and the same rights that I do just because of their needs. Um, I just try and do everything that I can because they're just not as lucky as I am to have all the things that I do. And that's something that everyone can do. I'm just a regular kid, really. I'm nothing, I'm not that special. I just help these kids because I know that everyone can do it. Anyone can step up and help these special needs students.
Our next honorees have one of the most important tasks in the entire school system, keeping our schools safe. These 13 individuals are highly trained former police officers or military servicemen who now work for the Mobile County Public Schools, maintaining a presence in our schools and developing relationships with the students, allowing them to often head off potential problems before they start. Over the past year, they have taken the lead in transforming our lockdown procedures to a more proactive system, ensuring the safety of students, teachers, and staff. Well, good evening. Uh, my, my dear friend, about five minutes before I left to come here tonight, my dear friend Mike Herndon texted me and said, hey, you know you need to get up there and say a few words. I said, well, I, I do now. So, But these guys aren't hard to say good things about. You know, I tell them routinely how proud I am of them and how proud I am to, to be uh, their supervisor. And, and uh, uh, unless you've been in that position, it's hard to imagine how many hours it takes. Uh, and I think the superintendent can, can vouch for this, days, nights, and weekends, the hours that these guys put in to ensure uh, that, that your children, your staff, uh, and you are safe when you're on our campuses or when you're at our events. So thank you for this honor. Um, it means more to us than you know. I'm very proud of these guys. And uh, thank you to the superintendent for allowing us to uh, and having the trust in us to do uh, what we do. So uh, thank you all very much. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for that big round of applause for the winners of the Student Safety Starts With Us Award, the Mobile County Public Schools Resource Officers. The next award gives our students a head start in college. This winner, while helping to prepare the workforce that powers the Mobile area, it has partnered with the Mobile County Public Schools to provide dual enrollment opportunities to thousands of our students. In subjects ranging from core courses like English, science, and math to technical areas such as welding and electrical work. Our Workforce Development Starts With Us Award honoree is Bishop State Community College. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Reginald Sykes. I'm president of Bishop State Community College. And behind me are individuals who do all the hard work and planning for dual enrollment. I'm just a cheerleader. <laughs> First of all, I want to th uh, thank uh, Mobile County Schools because it would not be possible without, without their help. It takes a lot of hard work and, and planning uh, to, be, to have a successful dual enrollment uh, program. Dual enrollment is important on the career tech side because if you think about it, think about all the industries and businesses coming to Mobile. And we often hear that there's a, a, a lack of a skilled workforce. And I was in a meeting this morning where they said that we have got to start to, uh, we got to create a pipeline for, for, for students to, to leave high school, come to Bishop, and enter the workforce. So that's why uh, dual enrollment is so important on that front and on the academic side, students who take dual enrollment, those courses would transfer to, to any public university and they get a head start. So that's what dual enrollment is all about and we appreciate the, the opportunity to be here tonight and, uh, and the partnership that we have with Mobile uh, County uh, Schools. Our goal is for our dual enrollment uh, program to be a model across the nation, and we work every day to make sure that that becomes a reality. Thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break. 
We've got a lot more to celebrate when we come back, so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Theresa Montgomery, and I'm here to give you a few facts about food allergies. Research says that 15 million Americans have food allergies. Did you know that roughly 30,000 Americans go to the emergency room each year due to food allergies? Food allergies affects one in every 13 children in the United States. The economic cost of children's food allergies is roughly $25 billion per year. If you want to know more facts about food allergies, you can visit www.foodallergies.org. Each month, more than 90 guns are reported stolen from unlocked vehicles, creating the potential of serious injury or death. Lock it up. Many violent acts and crimes are committed with stolen guns. Lock it up. According to ATF, stolen guns pose a substantial threat to public safety. Lock it up. Be responsible. Take time to record your handgun serial number and secure it from thieves. Lock it up. Lock it up. As a student in the Mobile County Public Schools, there are a few things I've come to expect. One is a quality education, and the other is a quality lunch. Not only are our school meals well balanced, meeting all federal nutritional standards, but they also have less fat, fewer calories, and they taste really good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, our school lunches contain whole wheat, grains, fruits, and vegetables to give me the energy and brain power to get me through the day. Nicholas, how was your day at school today? It was great. We had fun in class today. So what did you do differently today at school? I mean, anything, any new projects? We got a progress report today. You got your progress reports today? So how did you do? Uh, don't know. You don't know. That's okay, we can check that right here. Wow, Nicholas. Let's give a big round of applause for Mr. Jason Smith of Fox 10. Thank you so much for being a part of our celebration tonight. And now I have the honor of introducing you to our next presenter. Ms. Muriel Bailey joined NBC 15 News in October 2015 as a reporter and multimedia journalist. A native of New Orleans, Muriel received her undergraduate education from Northwestern State University and her master's degree in strategic communications from Troy University. She often covers Mobile County public school news for NBC 15. Please help me welcome to the stage Ms. Muriel Bailey. Thank you, thank you. This is my second year here and I noticed we have lots of students standing on the stage. Uh, growing up, I was the type of kid that got lots of A's, honor roll, honor society, that type of thing. And it feels good. I know what this type of night feels like just to be recognized and, you know, have people look at you and see what you achieved. And I'm sure 
these students didn't, nor did I. You don't do it because you want the recognition. You do it because that's just who you are. You're, you know, you're someone who just achieves and does well in school with other things. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So it's time to meet our first group of It Starts With Me finalists. These wonderful elementary students are doing great work in their schools and communities and have much to be proud of. Please hold your applause until I've announced each student's name. First, we have Colin Archer from O'Rourke Elementary. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not sure if he's supposed to stay, but okay. We have uh, Harmony Maxey from Breitling Elementary. Cooper Crenshaw from Allentown Elementary. Marley Parnell from Castlin Elementary. Jackson Fox from Dolphin Island Elementary. Elijah McCraney from Wilmer Elementary. Emily Woody from Dodge Elementary. Addison Everett from Tanner Williams Elementary. Rachel, excuse me, Gilliott from Eichel Mertz Magnet. Kelsey Keys from Orchard Elementary. Niswan Arif from ER Dickinson Elementary. Riley Reynolds, St. Elmo Elementary. Lucy Travis, Pearl Hexkew Elementary. Ruth Aniram Butler from Council Tradition School. Ella Suttle from Meadow Lake Elementary. Sarah Grace Shelley from Hollinger's Island Elementary. <laughs> Jamarlin Good Brown from Maryville Elementary. Sheldon Hollins Clark, Morningside Elementary. Kai Guy Ice, Spencer Westlawn Elementary. Marley Scott, Mary B. Austin Elementary. Riley Courtney, Griggs Elementary. Draylen Jefferson, John Will Elementary. Isabella Harris, Nan Gray Davis Elementary. Jalea Dillard, Craighead Elementary. Morgan House, Dixon Elementary School. Tiana Abney, Collins Rhodes Elementary. <laughs> Morgan Zaborny, Old Shell Road Magnet School. Mason Riggs, George Hall Elementary. Taylor Dukes, Kate Shepard Elementary. Haley Gill, Indian Springs Elementary. Riley McGill, Forest Hill Elementary. Sandra Schofspire, Collier Elementary. Ayana Lewis, Whitley Elementary. Keegan Young, Hutchins Elementary. Jasmine Campbell, Ella Grant Elementary. Kaplan Reed, Kelsa Deaver Elementary. Kelsa Deaver, sorry. Lake and Brian McDavid Jones Elementary, Esmeralda Eljo Gonzalez Gilliard Elementary, Kingston Kelly Robbins Elementary, Murphy Clark Just Four, <laughs> Artavia Clemens Burroughs Elementary. Taylor Andrews, Holloway Elementary. Mitchell Robertson, Booth Elementary. And Carly Moss, Sims Elementary. 
Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> okay. Our next award winner has been a longtime supporter of Mobile County Public Schools, providing funds for everything from uniforms to kindergarten field trips to tutoring services to athletic equipment to covered benches on our campuses. She also serves as a strong advocate for public education in our state government in Montgomery. From her continued promotion of the Helping Schools car tag campaign created by her late husband, to her sponsorship and support of legislation to help our schools continue to provide a vibrant SAGE learning environment. Being honored tonight with the School Spirit Starts With Us Award is State Senator Vivian Figures. I am not Senator Figures, mm -hmm. <laughs> but she could not uh, be here. She's traveling back, uh, so I will accept this award on her, her behalf. Vivian Figures is a true champion for Mobile County Public Schools, and I want to take this opportunity to thank her this, this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now it's time to meet our final winner, representing our high, our high schools. This student has overcome life-threatening injuries from a car accident to be an inspiration to her classmates and teachers. Instead of recuperating at home, she returned to school as quickly as she could, and she has maintained a high academic standing and positive outlook. Let's meet our high school. It starts with me winner, Georgia Howe of Mary G. Montgomery. I still remember it was 9.30 and woke up out of a dead sleep and uh, to answer the phone and have Jacob say, Miss Skelton, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, George has been in an accident. And, um, and uh, it was pretty serious and they don't know if she's going to make it. That was, that was one of the roughest nights as a teacher I've had in my 20 years. I don't remember much from that day. I don't remember why we were heading the way we were. We were supposed to be going to my house so I could get ready for work, but we weren't going in the right direction, so I really don't know where we were going. Um, we were going down Hallsbury Road right before the turn for Hubert Pierce. He was going too fast. We went off the road. Um, we're assuming he just lost control of the vehicle. We flipped four or five times, hit several trees, hit a power pole, and the car landed face down. I was ejected from the car. Um, I had my seatbelts on, so I got ejected. There was just glass and everything was awful. The car ended up upside down on fire. Um, after the accident, I woke up in the hospital with a broken nose, knocked teeth out, this lovely scar, two subdural hematoma brain bleeds, a broken neck, broken ribs, broken back. My hips were broken in three places, broken right arm, broken femur dislocated hips, dislocated left, dislocated left hip, dislocated left knee, lots of lovely scars, lots of, um, just lots of really painful things. And I woke up and I said, hey, call work. And let them know I can't come in. I went down to the hospital that next day to see her, but she was in surgery all day, so I didn't actually get to see her. Came by later that week so that I could see her. Um, and she just already, she was a skeleton. I've, I've got to get my school work. You know, I can't fall behind. And she was so worried about that. And I told her, I said, that's the last thing you need to worry about. We're going to make sure that you get what you need. Everything is going to be OK. You need to take care of you. Right away, um, I got out of the hospital November 14th. And that was right before Thanksgiving break. And I said, after Thanksgiving break, I'm going back to school. And mom said, no, you aren't. And I was like, come on, let me go, and she wouldn't. So we waited, she let me recover, did some physical therapy, got some rest at home, but still kept up with my work. They would send home, all of my teachers sent home packets of things that I did, and I would just sit up and do it at home and turn it in. And I got back to school as soon as second semester started in January, and I'm on track to graduate. I have to say that Georgia's probably one of the most resilient uh, high school students I've ever met. Individuals, period, really. I had always had the sense that she was quite fearless. To be so resilient, to bounce back from something like that uh, so quickly, 
uh, not just physically but mentally, and, um, and come back and really be the same person she was before the accident, uh, I was highly impressed by that. She's such a caring person and she's an inspiration because she does try so hard and has overcome so much adversity in her personal life but has not let that stop her. If you were to see her in the classroom today, you would have no idea of what she has endured or what she still has in front of her to endure because she always has a smile on her face and an optimistic attitude and a can-do attitude and she's always encouraging to others as well. Inspiration starts with Georgia. It was something else because, uh, you know, every step of the way through the ordeal, through the challenges, uh, she looked at it from the bright side. The first day she could walk, instead of saying, well, I had to walk with a walker, I could only go 10 feet, she was like, today I walked, I'm very excited. And today I walked the first time without a walker. And today, I'm at, I'm gonna, maybe tomorrow I can go to school. No, you can't go to school tomorrow. You have a month left. No, I'm coming tomorrow. And she came. And so nothing got her, got to her. And um, she rose above it all, which is very inspirational. I believe that the biggest benefit from all of this is the power of inspiration. People look at me and they think, okay, yeah, I'm having a hard time right now. I have this bad thing, but I shouldn't take life for granted. You don't know when something's gonna happen to you. You don't know if you're gonna make it. You don't know anything could happen at any time. You need to get past the bad and live for the good. Life's short. Gotta appreciate all the time you do have. Please welcome to the stage, High School It Starts With Me Award winner, Mary G. Montgomery's Georgia Howe. I'd just like to say how thankful I am to be chosen for this award. We have so many outstanding students and it's an honor to represent them. Um, I want to thank my teachers, fellow students, uh, medical staff, friends and family for supporting me while I heal. Um, if there's anything I want people to take away from my story, it's that no matter what happens, no matter what you go through, no matter what knocks you down, you have the choice to stay positive, overcome it, and get back up. Thank you. My name is Tamaris McDuffie, and I'm, I'm in the four arts program at Murphy High School. And me and a couple of my friends, we came to interrupt this program a little bit. But first of all, I want to ask, how are y'all doing this evening? Are y'all doing good? Do we have any principals in the audience? Let's give a hand clap for all our principals of the Mobile County Public School System. Yes. And let's give a hand clap for all of our Teacher of the Year Award recipients. Let's give them a hand clap. Amazing. And let's also, last but not least, give a hand clap for our It Starts With Us businesses and students. Let's give a hand clap, amazing. All right, so I wanna know how many of y'all wanna go rolling on the river? Uh-huh, you might know this song. Yeah, rolling, ooh, we're rolling on the river. Listen to the story now. Left a good job in the city working for the man every night and day you know it and i never lost one minute of sleeping worrying about the way that things might have been big wheels keep on turning primary keep on burning and we're rolling sing it with me 
are involved in school, the more likely it is a child will succeed. Children with involved parents and attend school regularly make better grades and have better social skills. Every involved parent makes a difference. Get involved. Ask about your child's day. Explain how your education matters. Parent involvement, it matters. You can find more information on parent involvement at mcpss.com. I'm Renee Phillips, Director of Communication for Mobile County Public Schools and your host of Homeroom. I invite you to join us as we learn about the great things happening in our schools across the county. On Homeroom, you get to meet students and educators who are in our schools every day doing wonderful things. Join us as we take an in-depth look at their stories, issues, people, and policies of the Mobile County Public Schools. That's Homeroom. You can find it weekly right here on the MCPSS TV network. In Mobile County Public Schools, we are redefining ready. We are graduating college ready, career ready, 
and life ready. We are more than just a test score. We are earning college credit while in high school. We are working internships to get real world experience. We are welders. We are certified nursing assistants. We are Redefining Ready. As Alabama's first and largest school system, Mobile County Public Schools prides itself on the high quality of education we provide our students. We have been successful over the years in raising our graduation rates. And have been recognized nationally for closing achievement gaps. We believe that our primary focus is to educate all students to become productive citizens. This is our commitment to them and to you. It's a fact, bullying happens. Bullying can lead to serious, physical, and emotional pain. But there are some things you can do to prevent or stop it. Stand up for the person who's being bullied. Let the bully know that it's not cool to pick on others. Take action by reporting the bully to a teacher or principal. In the end, when you help someone who's being bullied, you are also helping yourself. Hello, my name is Abby Dinkins. My children go to ER Dixon Elementary School. The education that uh, my kids are getting, um, they are, it's, it's tremendous. There's one time that I thought about homeschooling my kids because I wasn't sure, you know, we're new here. And when I enroll my children at the public school and I'm just blown away because the teachers are nice, the, the curriculum itself is different. I believe in Mobile County Public School education um, for preparing my children for life. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2019 It Starts With Me Awards. We now have the opportunity to meet our middle and high school It Starts With Me finalists. All of the students on this stage have been nominated by their schools to be recognized for their achievements both academically and in the community. Please hold your applause until I've announced each student's name. Brandy Trinner from BC Rain High. William Locker, Murphy High School. Caitlin Butler from Pathway. Cameron Gildersleeve, Blunt High School. Andre Aguilar, Baker High School. Ashley No, Lott Middle School. Zanqua Peters, Pillins Middle School. Cora Potts, Davidson High. Colton Higgins, Theodore High School. Jacob Rhodes, Grand Bay Middle School. Valerie Rindle, Burns Middle School. Miracle Hill, Booker T. Washington Middle School. Catherine Rojas, Bolas, Bolanos, Dunbar Magnet School. Grace Nelson, Hankins Middle School. Rita Tran, Clark Shaw Magnet. Darian Coleman, LaFleur High School. Jamarcus Snow, Viger High School. Amra Matthews, Elba Middle. 
Marka, Marka Viana Carlisle Chastain Fourier, K-8. Lauren Carroll, Phillips Preparatory School. Kyla Chapman, Sims Middle School. Joni Reed, Citronelle High School. Larry Harabas, Harabason, Alma Bryant High School. Layla Baldwin, North, ba North, North Mobile K-8. Joshua Buchanan, Mobile County Training School. Ray Bell, Denton Magnet. And Demarius Pate, Williamson High School. Let's give these students a big round of applause. Now we'd like to introduce our Citywide Teachers of the Year. These are teachers who go above and beyond in creating innovative, forward-thinking learning environments and making sure each of their students has the tools they need to succeed. Our Elementary Teacher of the Year is a PACE teacher known for her innovative lessons that challenge gifted students to think above and beyond the curriculum. One example is the Genius Hour, where she spends one hour a week working with groups of fifth graders on individual areas of interest. She also sponsors the Student Council and the Young Entrepreneurs Club, and serves as editor of the school yearbook and lead teacher for Talents Unlimited. Mobile County's Elementary School Teacher of the Year is Crystal Galloway of Mary B. Austin. not my thing. No, um, this entire just opportunity and um, just journey that I've been on this year has been such a blessing. The day that I was recognized as the elementary teacher of the year, I had read a book to my students um, by Andy Andrews called The Kid Who Changed the World, and it's all about the physics principle of the butterfly effect. And essentially, in a nutshell, it's how every little thing you do, good or bad, matters and it's connected to something else. And so it was more than humbling to be recognized um, as Teacher of the Year on a day when I read that book to my students. And I was reminded that every little thing I do matters, not just um, the things that you know may go overlooked or just a part of a routine. Um, I'm so thankful that I've been blessed with an amazing family that supports me. Uh, an administrative staff that lets me walk to the beat of my own drum and just be my quirky, creative self, um, and students that truly ch uh, just cherish coming into my classroom and, and just having a whole lot of fun and learning. Um, so I challenge each of you to be the change that you want to see in the world and follow those talents that God has given you. He's given me this talent, and I'm so thankful for it. Um, so thank you. Congratulations. Our middle school teacher of the year is a language arts teacher who exposes her students to different styles and genres of literature and uses creative ways of studying the text, from converting Shakespeare into modern vernacular to discussing Rosa Parks' autobiography as part of a lesson on injustice. She also serves as her school's head basketball coach, was a member of its international baccalaureate implementation team and began a program called Mail for Maddox in which her students create and send cards and letters to a terminally ill 14-year-old in Pennsylvania. Mobile County's Middle School Teacher of the Year is Tiara Cooper of Phillips Preparatory School.
In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning me. I vowed unto the Lord that whatsoever platform he allowed me to stand upon, that those who were watching would know that it was by his grace, his mercy, and his love that I stand. So without further ado, I want to give him all of the praise and all of the honor and all of the glory for this opportunity and the favor that he granted me, not only with the faculty and staff of Phillips Prep, but also with the voting committees of the Mobile County Public School District. To you, Superintendent Th Threadgill and the board commissioners, I humbly thank you for the opportunity to serve in this great district and for your hands in making sure that our students have the best opportunities to be successful. To my educator colleagues throughout the district, thank you for your daily commitments, motivation, and inspiration to tomorrow's professionals. To Mrs. Hartzog, I thank you for leading me and the PPS faculty and staff with the grace and the excellence that you not only require, but that you also reflect. To my PPS family, thank you for creating an environment to teach and to be taught. And to my village, my mother, my father, my grandparents, siblings, aunts, and uncles, godparents and church families. I thank you all for your continuous support, your trainings, and for teaching me to be the woman, teacher, and friend that God created me to be. And finally, to my students, past, present, and future, I am who I am because of you. I thank you for lending me your minds to mold and your hearts to teach courage and compassion. Congratulations to each recipient who's graced this stage tonight. I love you all and God bless. Congratulations. Our high school teacher of the year is an advanced placement calculus and honors pre-calculus teacher whose students have enjoyed great success on the AP calculus exam, scoring a qualified score of three or higher on 86% of exams taken. She believes developing student interest and making learning relevant are two of the most important factors in engaging high school students. She helped create her school's ACT preparation curriculum, serves as an athletic academic advisor, and has been a part of the mentor teacher program. Mobile County's high school teacher of the year is Baker High's Jessica Agnew. Good evening, everyone. I would just like to start by thanking Mobile County Public School System for this wonderful evening. And just uh, as the three of us have talked about over the last few months, they just keep uh, showering us with love and encouragement. And uh, we couldn't be more grateful to work in such a wonderful system. Also want to thank the system because I'm a product of the system. And uh, I went to Baker High School where I now have the opportunity to teach. And being able to give back to the community that invested so much in me as I was growing up is the greatest privilege and honor that I could ever have. Um, I want to thank everyone at Baker High School, uh, current principal, past principal, administrators, my fellow teachers, uh, for everything that they do every day to make Baker High School the absolute best place to work. Um, I want to thank my family. I come from a family of teachers. My mom's a teacher, my sister's a teacher, my uncle, my aunt, my husband. Uh, we're just a big family of teachers and it's what we love to do. And so it truly was my calling from the very beginning. Uh, and lastly, but most importantly, I want to thank my students. I want to thank them for challenging me every day, for making me the teacher that I am, for giving me the opportunity and truly allowing me uh, to display my passion and love of mathematics every day to them. And luckily, making some of them also appreciate uh, the beauty of mathematics. And uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do every day. And we're just blessed to get to teach the best and the brightest in this system. Thank you. Thank you so much to NBC 15's Muriel Bailey for being part of our It Starts With Us Awards tonight. Let's give her a round of applause. And now let's give another round of applause to all of our student performers. 
the Murphy High School Four Arts Club, Blunt High School Jazz Band, and Old Shell Road School of Performing Arts. What a great job they've done for us tonight. Now it's time to meet the man who leads the many teachers, students, and community partners for our 88 schools. Before I introduce him, I'd like to ask everyone who's received an award tonight to gather on the stage at the conclusion of the ceremony for a group photo. And now, it's my honor to introduce you to my superintendent. Mr. Cresswell Threadgill became Mobile County's public schools 18th superintendent in July after serving as a systems chief of staff. A Mobile native and LaFleur High School graduate, Mr. Threadgill earned degrees from Troy University and Alabama State University and spent two decades working his way from classroom teacher to principal to assistant superintendent in Troy and superintendent of Elba City Schools before coming back home to Mobile. Since taking over as superintendent, he's challenged everyone at Mobile County Public Schools to give 110% every day towards the goal of making this the best school system in the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Cressel Threadgill. Good evening. Now wait a minute. We've had some great students' performances. I know you can do better than that. Good evening. Now it says here that I'm supposed to speak for 45 minutes. So are you ready? First I want to, because uh, no one has thanked Renee Phillips and her staff uh, for putting on this production, so I want to give them a big round of applause. I would also like for my executive staff, if you're here, to please stand. To give them a big round of applause. And I want to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate all the faculty and staff, the students, and the community leaders. Without you, none of this would be possible. So thank you very, very much. At the beginning of this school year, everyone, faculty and staff, almost 7,000 people filled the Mitchell Center for Institute. It was an energetic, electrifying moment. God was in that building. I ask you all to stand up for Mobile County Public Schools. I also ask you to give 110% each and every day for our students because they deserve it. And I wanna thank you for doing that for those students. I would also like to take this opportunity to say that we've had a great year. We started strong and we will end strong. Now, even though we've had a lot of changes and with leadership, we have changes. Everyone doesn't like change, but we have to change. We have to improve. We have to get better. So with that being said, the It Starts With Us logo, we're resting it today. Tonight will be the last slogan, It Starts With Us. I would like to take this opportunity to reveal the new slogan moving forward for Mobile County Public Schools. Thank you. Since 1836, Mobile County Public Schools has been producing productive citizens who have helped shape and build our region. We're the state's largest public school district with 88 schools, 54,000 students, and more than 7,200 employees. 
We are leading with seven magnet schools and 13 national blue ribbon schools. Our students are learning through rigorous relevant instruction that challenges students not only to learn facts and equations, but to think critically and globally. We are learning through a solid foundation built on project-based learning, robotics and other STEM programs, a PACE program for gifted students, and other proven instructional tools, including Alabama's award-winning First Class Pre-K program. We're leading by hiring and supporting quality teachers, administrators, and support personnel, and providing them with the tools to succeed. We are learning through innovative programs such as Talents Unlimited, a year-round school at Fondy Elementary, University of Alabama Early College, and a signature academy program that allows high school students to pursue their passions and explore potential careers. We're leading by producing college and career ready graduates who earned more than 14,000 career credentials and $140 million in scholarships in 2018 with a four-year graduation rate of 86%. We're learning by pushing ourselves to be better every day through professional development and fostering relationships with our students, our parents, and our community. We're leading by refusing to rest on our accomplishments, by giving 110% every day to ensure that we're producing well-rounded students and graduates who are prepared to meet the global challenges of the 21st century. We are Mobile County Public Schools. We're learning today. We are leading tomorrow. It has been my pleasure to be your host for the 2019 It Starts With Us Awards tonight. I'd like to remind everyone who received an award to please gather on the stage for a group photo. Thank you for being a part of this special event. Thank you for everything you do for Mobile County Public Schools. Have a safe and wonderful evening. <laughs>